I had 500 credit score and went to the bank and got $10,000 loan. Because I'm like, I need this. And I feel like when you got stuff lined up in your heart right, I think God approved it mm -hmm. for us. Because he know we, we sit behind in this world. He ain't just finna let you go get approved for anything. But, yeah. I, but man, I used to go to the bank and get loans with a 500 credit score. I got my daddy a loan at the bank while he was on the run for the police. Wow. But when I really needed something and I had an idea to match my belief, mm -hmm. I just did it. So I really believe, man, my ancestors don't work too hard. Because you went in there with good intentions. Yeah, I really had. I told the man, hey, man, I, I did a little swift job. I was like, man, man, this is your family, man. This is a nice family, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember the brother used to give me that money. Yeah. He, he used to give me that money, man. I put him in my book. These bank people used to give me this money. And I did what I say, and I eventually paid them back. Right. But, man, I, we got to get out of that mentality, man. We got to work smarter. Like, I be telling people that, like, everybody be talking about these being gangster. I think being gangster, like, how we being gangster, but you going to let somebody open up a chicken spot in your neighborhood. Right. If you, if your grandma cook chicken, auntie cook chicken, what's gangster is when y'all get y'all income tax check, man, go get an LLC, open up this chicken spot, the hood right. gonna rock with you. You correct. That's gangster. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I always had that mentality. Man, no. Bro, I'm finna get this. I'm finna get what's mine. And it ain't, I ain't got no gun. I ain't never had no gun. But it's like, I think that's what we need to do is work with our minds. Right. And then our hands won't have to lift as much. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. I read where someone stole some money from you. Mm -hmm. I think it was like 15 grand. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from that experience? Man, they just needed it. Yeah, I, I learned not to have money out in front of nobody. Because if you got money out, most of the time somebody's going to steal it. Even if somebody that you trust or know? I ain't finna put them in a position where they're going to have to be who they really are. Right. You, sometimes you got to help people not disappoint you. Because if you leave some money out, <laughs> it gonna be hard. It gonna be hard not to look at it. Right. it depend on what I went through today, man. Hey, you leaving this? This must not be true. Cause you start telling your mind all kinds of. Oh, this must not be his. Yeah. So it's like, <clears throat> what I learned about that man: a human gonna be a human, and it ain't them. They just get in. Cause look, man, I was in a bind and I sold drugs. That was so wrong. Right. I tell people I was so broke that I had sell drugs. So that means when people get in the crunch, they'll do things that ain't even... They wouldn't normally do. They wouldn't normally do. Did it change your relationship with that person? Do you, I mean, you was like, bro, I know you hit me, or whatever it was. Yeah, 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 for sure. They got from around me. Because they, because I wasn't that shocked. It was more of, sometimes God will do stuff to let you know who you are. So right. now you'll know why you're not there. Right. Mm -hmm. When you got your tax refund... You got a nice look. You had a nice look. You had a nice look grip. Yeah, I should get back by five thousand, six. six. And a small child like that. Oh boy, we talk, oh, man. man, you must don't know. You King Willie then. Yeah, you get back, boy. Boy, my baby mama used to get back seven, eight. When I was hustling, I'm like, I need some of that. Yeah, cause they claim them. Uh, you finna give me that if you want? Ask me for money all year. And uh, they used to give me that. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Gina used to give me her money. She say that to this day. I'm the only one who used to give you my tax money. Nobody didn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gina used to give me that tax money, boy. Because I used to, make, I used to tell everybody to give me their tax money because you finna, so that way I could buy more dope. Because right. you finna ask me for money all year. Right. Invest in the pile. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, that tax money. Yeah. <laughs> that tax money. I feel like that's why I tell people when you get that tax money, man, you're supposed to, you and your family members, man, should go, go get a chicken spot, man. Go, go get something. Go start a business. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what I should do. Invest in my parties. Every dollar I used to get, I always invested before I spend. I don't really spend money. Cause you had a nightclub, right? Yeah, I had a nightclub, but I was throwing parties before the nightclub. Right. I I want to never start it. It's like Hollywood. I want to never try to come if I ain't already have a fan base. Right. So I always move like that. Only reason I opened a nightclub, cause I already was throwing parties. Right. I already had the clientele. Right. So every business I start, man. You got to have leverage for something before. Right. So, yeah. So, I had I had the nightclub. So, you had a little juke joint. You had a little hole. You had I had two on. I had the spot. And then uh, I was throwing parties at the spot. Then I got my own club, uh, the spot. So, right. I had two. I was, 50 I was getting 50% of the money in this one. Then I opened my own. Right. And, man, them clubs were jumping. That's why it was. Yeah, them small towns, they, no, they ain't going nowhere but your club. Yeah, them clubs were doing. I was profiting, like, between both of them, I was, I was profiting, like, 21000 profit. I was making, like... 40, 40, 50, but I was profiting like $21,000 $20, $20, and up a month. Profit. I'm talking about after I buy the liquor, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything, pay everybody. No clubs. No clubs jumping. Because, you know, the rent and everything. One the night. Yeah. I was only open on Saturdays. That's it? I, I had You go online and Google. It's probably on YouTube, my old Facebook. I'm like, if, you, if you're at the spot, you're hot. If you ain't, you're not. It's your boy Country Wayne, man. Meet me at the spot. And the whole time, I'm the comedian going viral online. So right. I still ain't trying to go to Hollywood. Right. I'm using my... I was using all these people, hopefully some on drive. Right. But my club stayed packed because I was country way in the streets, now I'm country way in online. Right. So I'm in the club business. Man, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to the comedy. You still own the club back down? No, I got rid of them. Why? Because when I started touring with comedy, them guns, my brother called me one night. He said, I said, how, how everything was. I had to do the show in Albany, Georgia. I'm sleep. It was about four o'clock in the morning. He said, everything good. I said, you got the money? He said, yeah, we made a bunch of money tonight. Say this one, this one other thing. Somebody got shot. I say what? <laughs> the helicopter out here right now. So the violence was, you know how them clubs. Yeah. When I was there, I never had a problem. Right. But when I used to leave, it's get crazy. Wow. But the, yeah, and you know, still get the alcohol, the that, fight. The listen, that, it's that port. I mean, let me tell you something. Alcohol bad, but it's a lady named Pam. Shout out to Miss Pam. She started bringing sauce meat in the cup. No, what, what the, 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 the stuff in the cup, gunk. Yeah. I was watching them. That made them fight more than the liquor. I say, girl, if you don't get this guy during pork out of here, so that food and that and that alcohol. Yeah. Man. And music, that ain't a good combination. No. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.